You're in your Gmail inbox, and there's something you need to fix before you forget about it again. Google has a program in place that can read your emails and attachments to train its AI unless you manually turn that off. Not is not a rumor, it's spelled out plainly if you know where to look. And you're about to go exactly where you need to go. Start by clicking the gear icon in the top right corner of Gmail. Choose See All Settings. You're now inside the full settings menu, and this is where the first part of the opt-out lives. Stay in the general tab. Scroll until you hit the section called Smart Features. This is where Google bundles together all the features that rely on scanning your messages. Look for the checkbox that mentions Smart Features in Gmail, Chat, and Meet. If that box is checked, Google is using your email content for AI-powered features. Uncheck it. The moment you do, your Gmail will refresh itself. Go back to the settings and check the See All settings again. Once you are back to the General tab, you should see that the little sub-features underneath will fade out. That's exactly what you want. You've just shut down the first layer of AI-driven scanning. But you're not finished. There's a second layer. Scroll a little further down in the General tab until you find a heading called Google Workspace Smart Features. It comes with a short description explaining that Workspace can use your content and activity across Gmail, Chat, Meet, Drive, and other Google products. Beneath that description, you'll see a button labeled Manage Workspace Smart Feature Settings. Click it. You're now looking at a separate screen entirely dedicated to these smart features. And here's where the important part lives. Two switches at the top. The first switch is Smart Features in Google Workspace. The second is Smart Features in Other Google Products. If either switch is blue or toggled on, Google is still allowed to use your Gmail content for AI features outside the inbox. You want both of them off. Flip them left so they turn gray. Once both are off, look down to the bottom right corner and hit Save. That locks everything in. At this point, you've successfully opted out. Google no longer has permission to use your emails and attachments for its AI training systems, its smart suggestions, or any cross-product personalization that relies on parsing what's inside your messages. The pipes have been shut off. Now let's zoom out from the tutorial for a moment, because what you just did is bigger than flipping two switches. You changed the power dynamic between you and the inbox you use every day. You stopped a system that quietly assumed you'd trade privacy for convenience. Most people never touch this part of Gmail settings because Google tucks it behind friendly labels like smart features. But you went in, read the fine print, and made the decision yourself. And here's the interesting part. Google won't send you any warning that those features are off. You might notice fewer suggestions or fewer AI-generated nudges, but nothing breaks. Your inbox keeps working. Your attachments keep sending. Your replies still get delivered. You simply cut out the background layer that was analyzing everything to make predictions. That separation is healthy. It keeps your messages yours. And it reminds you that every time a company adds a smart feature, there's always a cost hidden behind the convenience. Not a monetary cost, an informational one. You just proved you're not the kind of user who clicks things blindly. You read, you check, you decide. And now Gmail runs on your terms, not Google's defaults. Close the tab. You're done.